Say, I'm ready for the Word of God to change my life forever. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's quite funny. On holiday, and I just spent some time with the Lord in the mornings, like by the sea and stuff. Very nice. Sat one morning, got nothing. Sat another morning, got nothing. Then I sat another morning, I got something. <laughs> it was quite funny, and I just left it. It was a single thing, and, and I said to the Lord, what do you want for 2015? What must I say to the people for 2015? And my wife said something to me, and, and I just took my iPad and I said, look, and myself and my wife were in the same line with the Lord. God spoke to her. He spoke to me. And I said, that's great. But it's more to it. But the Lord said to me for 2015, He says, whatever you ask, you will have. Whatever you ask, you will have. I'm not talking about the, the world there. I'm talking about this, about us. This is, this is my fault. Not those people there. You are. Whatever you ask, you'll have. Remember 2014? It was a tough year, isn't it right? There was many things happening. Man, come on. It was There was challenges. There was changes. There was demotion. And there was stuff happening. But all, all praise God, we're here. There was tough times. There were sad times. Okay? There were some times. Sometimes people say 2014 was worse than 2013. Yes, there was many a challenges, but you are still here. There's many times you ask for things you didn't get it, and that's okay, because it's coming. Amen. Amen. You need to understand, 2014. I mean, it was also one of the tough years for me, for myself, my wife, and this ministry. It was many things. I know it. The way that we look always, it's, it seems like nothing phases us or nothing happens to us. We've got good poker faces. <laughs> but you see, I don't, I don't, you know, complain and murmur or whatever about my circumstances. I speak to my circumstances. Yes, I do vent sometimes about my situation in 2014, but I never spoke death over my stuff. It's factual, it's not great, this has happened, no, no. but I thank God it is short-lived. 2014 was a hard year for many people, but in saying that it was also a great year because it built character. And sometimes you say, God, stop building so much character. I think I've arrived. Stop right now. <laughs> I'm all right. How we get to here? It's enough character. I'm already a character. <laughs> Isn't it right? So 2014 was something. But the thing is, the Lord said to me, He said, whatever you ask, you'll have. Why? God said to me, why? Space. Because He loves me. Because He loves you. The whole thing is that God said, because God loves me, because God loves you, hun, we have not a great understanding about God's love. He says, whatever I ask, I will have. Why? Because God loves me. Say, God, God loves, loves, put your name in, me. God loves Johan Mankies. God loves Johan. God loves Johan. So whatever I ask, I will have. Why? Because God loves Johan. Love is power. That power is, is the love of God. 
2015, is that we need to realize that God loves us. Because if God loves us so much, why would He cause harm to us? He will not. He's a good Father. Knowing He loves me and is only good to me will bring the great victory. And then whatever I ask, I will have. Believing it what I ask because God loves me. Say, like God loves me. God loves me. See, it's very difficult to understand that you know your God is love and we've ministered, but do you understand God loves me? I want you to get it tonight because we struggle with intimacy. We struggle, all of us, especially guys, sorry to say that. Lust is okay, but love is a struggle. Do you, uh, seriously? You see, God loves us. We cannot, you need love. The love of God breaks every yoke, every bond, everything in our lives. Can you consider going like this? And God is giving you a hug right now because He loves you. How freaky does it feel? Go like this. Go like this. Close your eyes. And now you say, Lord, thank you that you love me. And now you hug me. Do you feel how strange it feels? You feel awkward? Many people feel awkward. There's an awkwardness because I know God, but can God give me a hug? Can God give me a hug? Because we struggle with that. I want you to see 2015. Because will there be trials? Will there be challenges? Yes. But in that God loves me. Lord, you're going to take me through this. My finances doesn't look good. This thing's happened, whatever. But Lord, you love me. So you're going to help me through this. Lord, you love me. So whatever I ask, I will have. Because you love me. You see, the love is the key of the gospel, of the good news. Not the doctrines, not the stuff that I can preach and whatever. But love is the key to the whole Bible. Love is it. For God so loved the world that He gave. Uh -huh. 1 John talks about that. It says, we love Him because He loved us first. The love is the key. 1 Corinthians 13, if you have not loved... What does it mean? Love, 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 love. You need to see that God loves you. In your circumstances of trial, because there will maybe be pressure. And then in that you need to say, Lord, because not like, how are you going to get through? What are you going to get through? How am I going to get through? What's going to happen? Whatever. No, you be quiet and say, God, you love me. You love me. You love me. So why would you let me go, Lord? Why would these circumstances overtake me? Because you love me. Do you understand how simplistic it is? But your mind is str struggles because now you go home. You feel weird. We always feel weird. God is hugging. Can God hug me? You know what? what do you, mean? you see, we made with God a very far off thing with love. But the Bible says it's closer than a brother. He lives and breathes in you and through you. I'm not saying I have obtained it. I'm just saying this is how it is. Do you hear what I'm saying? His love came to rescue you from yourself. Your greatest enemy is yourself. The devil has been defeated. Death has been defeated. The Bible says he's given you all things pertaining to love and godliness. You've been dealt with all the fullness. But yet you don't believe it. Yet you struggled with all the stuff. Your greatest enemy is you. And God says, I came to set you free from yourself. Through the love. My love. For you. Love, 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 love. 
Love, love. Why do you think the world has all these movies and the love thing, love thing? Because that's, that's, that's not the real love. God's love is real love. A marriage is like, it's good. Like myself, my wife, we have a good love relationship. But God is beyond that. that is all, that's like a shadow, a type that God put into place here on earth. Between husband and wife. But God loves. I remember one, one friend as well, the one day, he, just, he got saved and so forth, and, and he messed up, and he, he was very sincere, and, and you know, he really messed up. And I said, God, how can you forgive me? And he went to the church service, and he felt so condemned. He just messed up, and immediately he said, God, whatever. And, and he just closed his eyes, and, and suddenly Jesus was standing in, in front of him, walking towards him, and as he walked, he just felt waves of love just coming to him. And Jesus didn't even see what he's done wrong. He, Jesus, just came and loved him. He says wave upon wave of love came towards him. He said wave. He said, Johanna, I cannot explain to you. As I look wave upon wave, wave. I think in Rick's Joyous book, the one book as well, talk about waves of love that comes. And I thought, well, oh, that's very the same. He loved him. He didn't see his sin anymore. But we see our sin. I'm not saying sinners are okay and do what you want. But what I'm saying is that God's love, then from there on as he came out, he understood that God loves him. Despite what he just did, he messed up because his heart was right before the Lord. See, love is a power unto salvation. How do you change people to come to the Lord? Love. I mean, I ministered this holiday so much to people. I never judged them or could they, I just loved them. Strange people. I baptized family members this holiday. New age family members. It's not new age. They're now reborn again. Chadoop. But, you know what they said? The reason why they changed? It's not because what I ministered or whatever. It's because myself and my wife's life. He said, everybody wants to have what you have. And I saw that I want what you have. We didn't preach and put the, the condemnation. And we just lived our lives and loved her. That's it. And things changed. See, love never fails. We know that. We, we hear that. But do we truly know it? Not here, but, ach, not here, but here. God's love will never fail for you in 2015. You might think it does. You might think it doesn't come through. Oh God, I'm a... His love will never fail for you. Amen. Care how bleak it looks. Don't care how your body feels. How your finances look. Don't care if sauce is on your back. Don't care if whatever. Lord, you love me. Lord, you love me. Your love will not fail. Your love cannot fail for me. You need to recognize that. It means like you have a son or daughter that messed up. No, you didn't, they didn't do right, but you love them so much and they, you can see they're sincere about it. You just want to help them. Say, oh, it's okay, man. Oh, no, come on, let's just help you out. What, what can you do? Let's do it like this. Let's, I mean, let's do it, uh, get whatever. Let's just, you know. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. We'll make it right. Don't worry about it. The whole idea of you, because many times when you're in your circumstances, you feel alone. You feel nobody understands me. Nobody knows what I'm going through. And look at other people's lives. Look at their lives. They're okay. Nothing is happening. Who said? You're lying to yourself. You see, God, in your circumstances, you say, Lord, you love me. You take me through this, Lord, and you will never fail me. Like I said just now, he says, even we are, if we are faithless, he is still faithful because he cannot deny himself. Why? His love compelled him to give. For God so loved the world that he gave. His love compels him to give. 
His love compels to give. He loves us so much that He has to give. Whatever you ask, you'll have. Why? Because He loves you. He loves you. Do you understand that? I'm still getting it. But I said, Lord, I'm getting it. <laughs> so how can your business fail? How can your marriage fail? How can your whatever finance fail? Because He loves you. He loves you. His love compels Him to give. His love compels to help. His love, man, come on. It's exciting stuff. When you just, especially when you are a newly lovey-dovey person, you make your cherry or your oak. Man, you just want to buy flowers, do things, whatever. Yes, you know, gaan wild. God is still like that. I know there's a more mature love and stuff like that that comes and so forth, a deeper love. That's more of a giddy-up love. <laughs> But there becomes a more mature love that's more deeper than just gifts and stuff. But ultimately, love gives of itself. Like I explained to people in marriage, it's not you give, I give, you do, and I do. Marriage doesn't work like that. Marriage, Johan, gives, 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 gives. You thought about that? I minister to my married people. My wife, what does she do? Give, 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 give. Not you do, I do. Your marriage will not, it's not built on you do, I do. Your marriage is built on I do, and I do, and I do, and I do some more. Do you understand how it operates? Love is a selfless thing. God is a selfless God. That's how amazing He is. It is not how much we love Him, but how much He loves us. You know why? Because your love will never compare to His love for you. Your love will never measure up for Him. But His love will always measure up for you. You can try to do things to make Him love you. No, He just loves you. You see, the thing is, we love Him for He... he um, for you love... Your love for Him will never measure up, so you will always fail, but His love for you will, uh, um, will let your entire, um, sorry, will never fail, sorry. His love for you will never fail. But if you try to, see, love is not a work. Love just is. That's what people make a mistake with God, I need to do, do, that becomes law. If you try to measure up, it will start going into law. That's what many people, when they mess up or they sin, oh God, I'm going to fast now. I'm going to show you how to repent. I'm going to do this. You think, because of that, now God's seeing it, now oh, shame, oh, shame, I oh, shame. I did that, and God said, what are you doing? I said, God, I'm humbling myself. And I'm showing how repent if I am. And how much I love you, and how much sorry I am. God says, what are you doing? I love you, despite what you do. Now, just get up, and just move what I've called you to do. Because if you start doing that, feeling sorry and showing, it points to me. I, 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 I. No, God loves you. God loves you. If you understand God's love for you, you will not want to sin. You don't want to. Do. You understand the love of God because that's the grace of God. It's the love of God. God loves you just part of your sin. God loves you, people. I want you to understand that. Romans 5 from verse 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, we have peace with God. It's not that God was always angry. He was not angry at us. He just gave us away. 
But we have peace knowing that, because we have this fearful thing with God and God. No, we just have peace with Jesus. We have peace. He's not a bloodthirsty God. We just have peace with Him. That's all it is. And also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation. We hate that. Knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now, hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by Holy Spirit, who was given to us. See, automatic, God has poured out His Holy Spirit in your, in your heart. There's love in you, by Holy Spirit. Yes, there's perseverance, you go through trials and stuff like that, but in that, there is hope. Why? Because the Holy Spirit, there's love being poured out in my heart by the Holy Spirit. What love? God, you love me. Why? I want people to understand, God put His Spirit in you, He put Himself in you, why would you let you go down under? Only times when you refuse it, He will not force it upon you. But that's what many Christians felt. But see, God and whatever, God and the is God. No, you rejected that. For God to help you. Now, I like this because hope does not disappoint. Love Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, that evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now faith is a substance, it's a real thing. Let's read the Amplified. I like the Amplified. Now hope, remember hope does not disappoint. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Hope doesn't disappoint. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. So the things you hope for, you'll not be disappointed. Because it will come. Do you understand? Why? Because God loves me. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. So it's real. For being proof of things we do not see and, and the conviction of their reality is faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. In other words, it, you might not see it, but a hope does not disappoint. Now faith is, I believe today, now faith is a substance, it's a real, it's a title deed, whatever things I hope for. Well, hope doesn't disappoint. So Lord, you will not disappoint my hope. Why? Because the Holy Spirit has been poured on my heart. Why? Because you love me. So when I ask for something by faith, I know I'm going to get it. Why? Because my hope will not be disappointed. Because why? You love me. Cool, hey? Eh? Very cool. So how can we fail? Because the Bible says whatever you ask you will have. So why do we ask we don't get? No, I'm not saying. The Bible says, you know what? You know, be not be conformed to this world by the renewing, transforming of your mind. You know, to know and accept and good what's um, good in whatever in, it's inside of, uh, inside of the Lord. In other words, you need to renew your mind. Know what God's perfect will, sorry, perfect will for your life. When you know and you renewed your mind, you're not going to ask for stupid things. If you know God loves you, you're not going to ask for, I'm, a, I'm 16 years old, Lord, give me a Porsche. You're not going to ask such stupid things, you know what I'm saying? But you ask for the right things at the right time. Now you ask for something for the future, you know. Lord, I know you're going to take me, but Lord, so. You'll write the right things at the right time. And in that, God will sometimes give you greater. God loves you. See, the fruits of the Spirit, you know, starts off with love. Love. The beginning of a fruit of the Spirit is love. Not meekness, not kindness, not gentleness, not faithfulness, not self-control. Love. Love will activate all the other stuff. God's love activate all of the other stuff but we struggle for our minds to understand God you love me you can hug me I remember years ago when I did I did some fasting 
But in God, I did it in faith. I remember the one day, I was sitting about the food and park. I was, I was really spending time with the Lord. I was just in His presence. I think I did like a day fast and stuff. Thing, meaning, my heart was really right with the Lord. And I remember the one day, I was lying. And I could feel my head was lying on God's lap. And He was stroking my head. I will not forget that day. When I had that encounter with God, that He actually touched my head. And my head was on His lap. I said, wow, Lord, I never knew I could have it like this. And that was the first encounter of many. Do you hear what I'm saying? Why? He loves me. And my life was not perfect. My life was all haywire. Everything was so wrong. <laughs> I didn't feel perfect. I didn't feel holy. Whatever. But I remember when I went there, and I suddenly felt God's hand over my head. And He stroked my head. I'm like, wow. I thought that was cool. He loves us, people. 1 Peter 4 verse 8. Above all things, we have, have fervent love for one another. See, love is the key. Love covers a multitude of sins. See, God's love covers our sins. Yes, yeah, you removed it. That's why me as being a prophet and stuff, when I look at numbers, many people, I see these things wrong in their life. But I don't see the wrong. I just see the potential. Do you hear what I'm saying? Isn't that how God sees us? The Holy Spirit convicts us of righteousness, but He doesn't see the sin. You see, that's how it is. Love covers a multitude of sins. We should see that for one another as well. Sometimes I know there's many people not doing right and whatever. And God has to remind me. I said, Lord, remind me as well. Johan, you have not arrived. Remember your life. When you were there. Oh yes, Lord, you're right. I'm not saying sin. Everything is right. We can just do what we want. But if you understand this love of, love of the Father for you, you will don't want to sin anymore. Things will change for you. Because you understand this love, I want to tell this for you for 2015. Stop strifing. 2015 will be a year of less strifing and more of just entering into his, the promised land because you understand that he loves you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. 2015, I want to tell you it's time for you to work less. I want you to hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying you can work uh, and enjoy your job or whatever, but I think the whole thing is people live, work so hard that they miss God. They work so hard to survive or to do, it's time for you to just, Lord, you love me. You will help me, Lord. That I will enjoy life. That I will enjoy life. Also, people work harder their relationship with God. They work hard at it. Stop striving so hard with your relationship with God. I know people always say, God's working with me. God's working with me. God's work. No, you're working with yourself. God's got no hand in that. No, God's busy. You know, God's with this. And God should be in this. I'm so wrong. No, it's you. Not God. <laughs> We're striving so hard with our relationship with God. Can I ask you something? You know the word high maintenance relationships? Do you, you have some of those in your life? Who likes them? Nobody. When you go to people like, you have to put on the smile, you can't really be who you are. Yes, it's hard. But we do that with the Lord. God is low maintenance. Don't strive so hard to be holy. Don't strive so hard not to sin. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the problem. I am enjoying life. I'm, I'm starting to understand, Lord, I love this relationship with you. It's so easy. You know, Christians must suffer, and you know it's hard to be a Christian, and it's hard. Where do you come from? 
Now you need to suffer and you need... I said, where do you get that? I came to give you life, life abundant to the full, to the overflow. Huh? What's that about? The Lord gave me a lot of revelation. He showed me Paul and all of these people that the, the died a horrible death. They never needed to. They never understood love. The doctrine was right. Things was happening. But they felt inadequate. And Paul, Paul, Paul showed me Paul. He said, I have to crucify myself upside down. Because why? Because I'm not worthy, he said. Because he persecuted the Christians. He wanted to die. God said, I never wanted him to die. Because you know why? The evidence is in John. John understood love. Didn't he? He wrote book John. You know, 1 John, 2 John, book of Revelation. He understood love. They couldn't kill John. They tried to kill him. They couldn't do it. Why? He understood God loves me. He understood God loves. He says, the one that Jesus loved. That sounds so full of pride. But what, that did, what did that do for him? God loves me. Because he loves me, they couldn't kill him. They tried to burn him, they tried to do this. They had to say, go to the Isle of Patamos. Then he went there and he was caught up with God. Because what? God loves me. Awesome. We have to let go of our own willpower and feel that and feel that we need to do or to feel that we belong to make us feel better and productive. How many times do we want to do things to feel productive? Don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of work to do. New church, new things, moving, new stuff, you know, TV things. Man, now I'm going to be busy. But in that, I'm not going to overwhelm myself. In that you can be busy, but not overwhelmed. You need to do things, but not be overwhelmed. There's things that you're concerned to be about, but not worried. Can't sleep at nights. Overwhelming. No. Working hard is not going to cut it in 2013, but you, you, with wisdom and leading of the Spirit will make all the difference. Here's a nice one. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10. Here's a nice one. Does it sound familiar? Listen to this. If the axe is dull and one does not sharpen the edge, then he must use more strength. But wisdom brings success. <laughs> No, I'm bit lazy. I'll just eat a little bit. No, just sharpen it, come back, and choop, choop, and there goes the tree. Wisdom. I'm not saying go and study more and stuff and whatever. I'm just saying be led by the Spirit of God. These are the sons of God. Lord, they need to be a better way. Show me, Lord. And also, then I want to read the following. In Jeremiah 17 from verse 5 to 8. It's time for us to fully rely on the Lord. That's not a, being a place of being a sissy. That is power. But it says in Jeremiah 17 from verse 5 to 8. It says, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man. That's hectic. Don't trust in yourself or other people. I'm not saying we should need to rely on people. Of course, we need people to do things. But you hear what I'm saying? He's talking about self, man. It makes flesh his strength, who are heart depart from the Lord. How many people are still doing it? They're still law based. I don't want to get into the law. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched place in the wilderness. In salt land, which, not, which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. Hope again. Hope does not disappoint. Your hope is in the Lord. Why? Because He loves me. My hope is not in man. My hope is not in this job. My hope is not in this finance. My hope is not in this deal. Do you hear what I'm saying yet for 2015? My hope is in the Lord. 
And I thank God for the deal. My hope is in this. And I thank Lord for this. Do you hear what I'm saying? For you shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out in roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes. So it means it will, things will happen, but it will not fear. And will not of heat comes, but its leaves will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. So everything else can go to hell, but I'll be fine. Everything else can look horrible, but I'm increasing. They are retrenching, not me. If they do, praise God, I've got something new. <laughs> I've got 11 minutes. And in saying this, also 2015, because God loves you, and no more self-effort, I want you to understand this, what the Lord said. God is longing and waiting to have a deeper relationship with you in 2015. God wants to be touched by you. God wants to be experienced by you. God said to me, I want you to touch me. And I want, to, I, want you to, I want to experience you. Not you. He wants to experience you. That's weird, hey? But He wants to experience you. And in that you experience Him. Isn't it right? That's how it is. The more meaningful the relationship with God, the more you become aware of what is happening around you. Because you are then in the right place where God can do all things for you. You see, we are so aware of all the negative stuff, whatever, and we miss so many things. But if you start being, having this relationship, you'll be aware of things like you've never been aware of before. Because your eyes will be enlightened. Because you with the Lord, and you can see all things, know all things, 1 John 2, 20. You need to understand, God did not create you to be a servant, He created you to be a son. And a son and a father needs a relationship, isn't it? Or a daughter. There's a relationship. You know? A child is created out of two people's love for one another. I'm talking about God relationships. Do you hear what I'm saying? A man and a woman gets married, and out of that marriage, a love union comes a child. Not out of need or out of necessity or to have a servant. Do you understand? But out of that, a, a child came, and out of that child, a relationship was born. A relationship was born. You have a child, and you start having a relationship with your child and stuff. Not a servant. God loves us that He created, uh, created uh, and He wants to know you. What? Yeah, God, lo um, God loves all that He created. God loves all that He created and He wants a relationship with His creation. God loves all that He created and He said it was good. It was good. You've got to get excited when you get a new house, you get a new shirt, nice shoes, new car. You know, He loves it. He loves it. I share my stuff. My motorbike, I do wheelies. I'm getting good at it. <laughs> I'm not a good wheelie, but I get a wheelie. I say, Lord, look, that was a lack of wheelie. <laughs> and now God likes it. Good, my son. Just be careful. Yes, okay. <laughs> do you understand? How can you say that? How can you do... I said, I have that relationship with my father on my motorbike. It freaks people out to say that. Because it's challenge everything in the person. How can you have a super bike? How can you have this stuff? Let me show you. Easy. Seven minutes. 1 Peter 5, verse 5 to 7 said, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to the elders. Yes, all to be submissive to, the, to one another and be clothed with humility, for God resists the power, but gives grace to the humble. In other words, you know what? Grace. God gives grace to the humble. It's good to be weak. 
in the presence of the Lord. It's good to be weak when everything is going. It's good to be weak, people. God says more grace. That's why it's sin about much more grace about. I said many times, I said, Lord, grace, 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 grace. I need grace, Lord. I can't. I need grace. Thank you, Lord. Grace is God's love. Therefore, humble yourself on the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time. Casting all your cares upon Him for He cares for you. He cares for you, people. Cast all your cares, all your burdens for 2,000 for Lord, I give it to you. God says, no problem, exchange. Have some blessing. To great and deep relation with Him will take some effort at first, but then it will become like being with your wife or husband. It becomes normal to have them around and spend time with Him or her. It becomes normal. My wife and whatever, she's there connecting, whatever. We have our different times with one another, whatever. It becomes normal. That's how God wants it to be. Make a decision to close to Him and ask Him to help you and the Holy Spirit will help you. You see, it's not out of self-effort, Lord. Out of the desiring, the producing, you will do. I have a desire, Lord. God, create the desire in me, Lord, to love you more. Lord, to, to do it. Lord, to have a relationship. Create that desire. In that, God will do the producing for you in 2015. 1 Corinthians 14, 1 says, Pursue love. Pursue love first. It says, and desire spiritual gifts, especially to prophesy. Do you understand? Pursue love. Love first. Love is God. And in that, desire spiritual gifts. Five minutes. This is what God wants for us. Ask this year, 2000, whatever you ask, you have. Why? Because He loves me. He loves me. And Lord, whatever I ask, because hope doesn't disappoint, because you love me. Now faith is, when I step out in faith and I do things, Lord, that hope will not be disappointed. Why? Because you love me. That hope will not disappoint, because you love me in 2005. And in that, Lord, help me to have a greater desire and a greater, deeper relationship with you in 2015. And see how things will change for you in 2015. Say, God... Loves me. So, whatever I ask, I will have in 2015. Because God loves me. Isn't that awesome? I think that's a good word for 2015. Amen. Is that good? Amen. We've got four minutes. Come to the front. Quickly. Come, 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 come. Run, 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 run. <laughs> we take communion into the new year. Break a piece off. Oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, so whatever. There's more pieces. Have a piece. I'll break a piece. So this is His body, this is His blood. This is His love shown to us. It was not just some frivolous thing. This is His body, this is His blood. This brought healing redemption. In this, 2015 is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. This is not sin. This is free from sin, sickness, disease, death, poverty. This is understanding the love of God that made me free. This you partake to understand that we are here together taking it in communion, knowing that, Lord, 2015 is going to be great because you love me. Lord, whatever I ask will have, I will not ask stupid things. I will ask right things, good things for me because you place it in my heart when I ask it. And so I will have it because you love me. This is love shown unto us, Jesus the Christ, on that cross. Imagine you have to sacrifice your own son, one of your favorite animals for somebody. Imagine that. To slaughter something you love for somebody else. I mean, it's a hectic thought. Do you understand that? That's a hectic thought, and that's love. 
That's love. We've got two minutes, isn't it right? So we're going to get into this new year. I want you to see health, wealth, free from death, people, life, immortality, glorification. No more sickness, no more disease, no more poverty. Increasing exponentially, physically, mentally, socially, financially. This is the body and the blood that made it all possible. John 6, Corinthians 12, 1 Corinthians 12, made it all possible. So Lord, we praise you, we thank you, Lord. This is your body, this is your blood. So when we partake of it, you're partaking this now into 2015. Amen. Let's partake it and we go into it. Thank you, Lord. Your body, your blood. Amen. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. 2015. Freedom from sin, sickness, disease, death, poverty. Free, free, free. Increasing. Increasing. What's the time? Couple of seconds. We don't have a countdown now. <laughs> Flip. Happy New Year! <laughs> Woo! On the dot! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I'll give you a hug, I won't give you a kiss. Hello. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Okay, all the kids. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Haha! <laughs> happy New Year! I'll say Happy yeah. New Year! <laughs> Woohoo! Happy New Year! <laughs> like a New Year! Mm. Happy New Year! Woohoo! Happy New Year! <laughs> happy, 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 happy New Year! Same to you. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hello! Hmm. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hello! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Gonna be good! Gonna be good! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Laka! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy Happy! I mean! Now I want to lay hands on you, spit the new prophesy over you. Can we smoke after two fights, man? Let's finish pause here. Let's smoke after two fights. We can play some background music. There's some anointing music at the back there when you're ready for Sibu. You've been where He's taken you. Amen. Because if I look at my past, it's a testimony. Not a disaster. And shame bore me. It's a testimony. 2014 has a, it's a testimony, people. It's a testimony. And you declare 2015, I hope it's not going to be like, no, it's going to be better. Amen. Better than expected. We expect good. Amen. Come to the front. I want to pray for you again. Sorry, guys. You have to get out of your chair again. Come line up. I want to lay hands on you. I want to bless you. I want to speak life into you. If there's a catcher, maybe somebody can need to help me, please. But I want to bless you. I want to. I want to anoint you. Why is anoint? It's just to. It's an. It's an act of faith. It's a touch point. Zopra and Nessa. Come move to the front. Don't be shy. Just move like with straight with the speakers. Zempra no son proche bra nasa santo toje. Capra do son proche sasa. If you stand long, man, you can alter the word here extra if you will. Zompra masa santo toje, prenese santo toje, prenasa santo toje, pretekirama. Compro no so soro shempra nasasa, contra hasiambra doromo sobro shesese, 
Zempra no so soro shempra nasa sa so so. Kodre hisi bra masa sa so zoro shempra nasa sa. Zempra mo so soro shempra nasi andra kodromo. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. I thank you, Lord, when I lay my hands on them, Lord, it's like you laying your hands on them, touching them, healing, giving them a hope, Father. Lord, I pray it's not what I say, Lord, but what you do tonight by Holy Spirit in these people's lives, Lord. Lord, I pray for an encounter with you, Lord. Lord, in this new year, Father, Lord, in 2015, Father, 1st of January, Lord, I pray you lay your hands on them, Father. You touch them. You bring to that place where you want them to be, Father. Lord, use his hands, Lord, Father, as a mighty instrument, Lord, in your hands, Father. Lord, I pray for it, Father, that it will be hands of love and compassion. Lord, hands tonight, Father, as I lay my hands on them, things will truly change. It's not just another laying of hands or whatever, Lord, a religious thing. But Lord, I really pray that your glory, your presence, Lord Father, will touch them. And just overflow over them, Lord Father. Just overflow in them. New hope, new horizons in their life. Lord, things will really happen in their marriages, Father, in their businesses, in their bodies, Father, in their relationships, in their finances. Lord, their hearts will be mended, Lord Father, of past hurts. Lord, I pray. Lord, their forgiveness will be in their hearts. The people that took from them, people that hurt them, family members, friends, wicked people that did them wrong in their finances, in their bodies, whatever, Lord, that they will forgive them. Lord, I pray that a change will come. The change will come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your presence. <sighs> freedom. <sighs> freedom. Freedom. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray. Freedom, Father. Freedom. Just stand there. Don't worry about the person next to you. Don't worry about the person. Just focus on the Lord. Close your eyes and just focus on the Lord. Don't worry when I come or don't come. Don't worry if you fall or don't fall. Don't worry about that. Just focus on the Lord because He loves you. He loves you. He'll never want to hurt you or do anything to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That as I declare this year, is a year of more for you. More of everything I declared over you can land. It's more, more, more. More, more, more. You need to see more to have more, says the Lord Gladys. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Free. Thank you, Jesus. New things. Fruition, fruition, fruition. I declare everything this year that you started in 2014 will be fulfilled in 2015. Fulfillment in 2015. Fulfillment in 2015. That's a word for you. Fulfillment in 2015. Fulfillment. Things just linger on to be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled. Thank you, Lord. Be fulfilled. Good word. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this man. 2015, Lord. Greater year than ever before. Greater year than ever before. Greater things. Greater things. 2015, I prophesy, things will be so much easier for you in 2015. Easy, 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 easy. In Jesus' name, easy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for freedom, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Encounter with you. Encounter with you. An encounter with you. An encounter with you. Thank you, Lord. The Lord says, It's time for you to desire more of me so I can give you all of me. 
desire Him and He will give you all your heart's desires, says the Lord. All your heart's desires. Because He put that desires in you. I declare it over you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I declare over my sister, Lord Father. She will look at you in a greater way, Lord Father. Thank you. A greater way, Lord Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Men has hurt you. Things has changed. Family, all of these things. The Lord says, I'm changing it. Do not look at them. Do not look at this. But look at me, says the Lord. Because I'm about to bring change in a great capacity in your life, Vicky. I'm about to do things for you like never before, says the Father. Things that you do not fathom, things you do not understand. But I'm about to bring change. Just receive it. Don't think, don't look at the people that you're wrong or didn't do what they're supposed to do. Look at me, says the Lord. Men will fail you. Women will fail you. But I will not, says the Lord. Put your hope and trust in me and things will change for 2015. 2000, pretty cool. Amen. Amen. Lord loves you. I always say, but the Lord loves you. Lord says to me, Vicky, you must start making jokes with God. Yeah. He wants to, he wants you, he wants to laugh at your jokes. You're funny. You are funny. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your presence upon her. Thank you for change, Lord, in her life. Thank you, Jesus. Total change. There's the freedom. A greater freedom is about to come, says the Lord. A greater freedom. A greater freedom. A freedom like you've never experienced. There's a freedom. There's a freedom. There's a freedom that you're going to experience. I see a great freedom for 2015. A freedom that you never understood. Like, almost you're holding back, but not. But there's a... God's going to just make you free. Almost like a rebel kind of thing. But be free in 2015 for you. Amen. 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 That's happy, happy. Thank you, Lord. Change, thank you, Lord. A greater degree in 2015. I just see promotion for you in 2015. I see promotion, 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 in promotion. Could be a job, could be your own business, school, whatever. But I see a lot of promotion for you. Promotion, upon promotion, upon promotion. So it might be more than one promotion. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, showing that you've let go of a lot of things. You've let go of a lot of family stuff. You've let go. But the Lord says, just let, there's a little bit more to let go. Because peace is about to come. I am that peace. Because when you hold on, God wants to say, cast all your cares upon him because he takes care of you. He says, let go of that little bit more. And He gives you the rest of the peace. Thank you, Father, for that in Jesus' name. Free. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for her. Thank you, Lord, for, Lord that you experience you, your love, Father. Your kindness, your mercy, Father. Lord, I pray for that, Lord. The gentleness of God will make you strong. God's gentleness 
He's going to reveal more and more. David said in the Psalms, that Lord, your gentleness made me great. God's gentleness, I see for you. His kindness in the smallest things is going to touch you and that's going to make you great. I don't know if it helps or whatever, but I, the, the, the small things, not the big things, the, the gentleness, the nice, God's going to reveal Himself more and more and that's going to make you great. That's going to be awesome for you. But that's powerful. David said that. So I think it's for you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen, Lord. Seal it with good health, good wealth, and good success. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We will make the hair so pretty. I'll go and mess it all up. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Anointed with fresh oil, Lord, Father. Fresh freedom. Fresh freedom. Fresh freedom. Thank you, Lord, for that. Fresh freedom, Lord. Lord, show me there's going to be a greater peace for you in 2015. A greater peace, a greater relax, a, gr a greater minute gejaag. More at peace. I saw the seed it for you, you know, for 2015. God's going to stabilize more things for you. He's going to stabilize more of the stuff. Greater peace for you in 2000, in job, in relation, whatever it is. I see that just as a greater, I think understanding will come. And God, the Holy Spirit, will work in you. And in that, there's a greater contentment that will come for you in 2015. It's a great place to be. It might freak you out, but it's how it is. Because sometimes we're not, we don't understand the kind of stuff. And why am I like this? But there's a greater peace and a greater contentment that's going to come for you. How God's doing you. God will give you the revelation or something will happen in you that's going to just do it. That's good to be because that's awesome. That's very awesome. Amen. Amen. for you, but thank you, Lord. What I anoint him, Father. Freshness. Thank you, Father. For your presence. For your leading, for your strength. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 2015, Lord, show me for me something that's very interesting. It says, as you will run to people, you will not run anymore. They will come to you. Things you're not going to run to or to create, it will come to you. You, I see you, it's like you're sitting in a place, almost like a king, sitting and people just coming. And you, you, they come to you and you create out of that idea of wealth. You do things and you whatever, you know, and you empower people. And as you empower people, you get empowered. I see that you're sitting, I see you sitting. You're not going to look on whatever or ideas and that's good, you have some of the whatever, but it's going to come from different sources, things coming to you. Less effort. I mean, well, okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hello, boo. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I bless him, anoint him, Lord. Fresh, 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 freshness. Thank you, Lord.
Lord says the only way now is up. The only way is up. The only way is up. Lord says, man, it might be a little bit more fire coming. It might be to feel, feel a little bit unstable at the moment. Some more things might, whatever. But don't worry. I love you. And I'm going to take you to this. Up, up, up. 2014 was going like this. It looked like this in the natural. But in the spirit, you were going like this. Naturally, it was like wood, one or two, deep, deep. That's how it looked. God says, no, spirit look is going up. Naturally, you might still feel like it's not lack and lack. But God says, I'm busy moving you up to that place where you are in the spirit. I'm busy moving up naturally as you were there. So just know it's going like this. You're going to feel up and you're going to go up. You're going to feel like a bit down and you're going to go up. So just be at peace. It's the only way out. It's up. It's up, 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 up. You'll not recognize you in four months. You'll see a change. In three months, there'll be a change. Two months, there'll be a change. A month later, there'll be a change. Three weeks later, there'll be a change. And the change will just start to be quicker and quicker and quicker, spiritually and naturally. I see a rapid thing for you. It's going to be cool. Amen, Lord. I speak it over him. Thank you, Father. Peace, 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 peace. You must have understood that with yourself, me. Look, it's a belief. Don't worry, me. Don't be sin conscious. Be God conscious. Over stress with yourself and good and all that. Look. Just be at peace. All this is okay. You're not Superman. Okay? Chill. Okay? Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hello. Hello. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, anoint the Lord with fresh oil. Freshness. 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 The Lord says, My time is now with you. Your time is now with me, says the Lord. In this, I will change, I will shake, and I will break things like never before in 2015. Because my time is now with you. Your time now is with me, says the Father. Great and mighty things is about to happen. Great and mighty things. Great and mighty things. I don't want you to look at the left. I don't want you to look. I don't want you to look at your children. I don't want you to look at your job. I don't want you to look at your past. I don't want you to look at hurts. I don't want you to look at left. I don't want you to look right. I don't want you to look at your house. I don't want you to look at other people. I want you to look at me, says the Lord. I want you to look. Because when you look at me, you see yourself as perfect. When you look at me, you see yourself as holy, as blameless, as free, as whole, as holy, as blameless, as spotless when you look at me. Lord, I seal this Father in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for new beginning, new freshness. God's got awesome things in store for you. Great and mighty things. Light. Life. Freedom. Wholeness. Thank you, Lord.
Do you know what a prophet is? You are called to be a prophet. You are called to be a prophet, like me. I'm a prophet, wife is a prophet. You are called to be a prophet, it's a voice that speaks. You are called to be a prophet. You need to get teachings and stuff like that, and what a prophet is and how it operates. But I see God's calling for you is to be a prophet. They call it a prophetess because you're a lady. I just call you a prophet. That's a good thing. It means you're called into ministry. Lord, I pray that you'll awaken her, Lord Father. You'll awaken her, Lord. You'll awaken her, Lord Father, the prophetic gift. Lord, because she sees already things. She hears already things that she, do, that she does not understand. Lord, I pray that understanding will come. Lord, that understanding will come. Fear will go. But understanding will come. That understanding will come. That understanding will come. What she sees and what she hears, Father. I pray. Have you seen many things? You say something or you think something and then it happens? Has it happened often? Is it? You're a prophet. That's why. Sometimes it's scary stuff. No. Nah. Nah, you're a prophet. <laughs> Good stuff. Praise the Lord. That's exciting stuff. Woohoo! Bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Can you speak your All the people of our live streaming, I speak life to you, healing to you. I pray as you touch this hand, I pray healing for you, blessing for you, favor for you, health. While 2015, the best ever year for you, I declare it over you. Healing and restoration. As you, wherever you're at, I pray our Holy Spirit will touch you, infuse with you. Will just a fire will come upon you right now. Making you free. And blessing you and healing you in Jesus' name. Exciting you. Amen. Last few people, be blessed. Amen. Amen. Come so. Come here. You are married, are you? I would hope so. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord, for life to you. I will not I try not to mess up your nice hairstyle. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for freedom, for grace, for power. Have you ever thought, have you ever had this thought to be a CEO? <laughs> I am one of you. Huh? How are you? In all of our life. I see the word CEO. But have you ever thought of being a CEO? Have you ever thought about it? I see CEO. A CCO, Chief Executive Officer. I pray that for you. I speak blessing to you. Life to you. I see that for you. I see great things for you as well, Rish. I see great more and more things for you. May, might be the Indian bloodline, <laughs> but I see cars for you. <laughs> I still see that. Hmm? Fast car. Fast car. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Uh, oh, I have a fast car, fast bike. So nice, eh? Nice stuff. I see that for you. But also pray for wisdom. Mm -hmm. The wisdom of God. The wisdom of God upon your life. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Great wisdom. Great wisdom. You need a lot of wisdom. It says, call on wisdom. Call on her, the Bible says. Call on her for wisdom. Wisdom, Lord. Wisdom. Wisdom. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. 
the falls. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my brother. Lord, I anoint him, Lord, fresh. Freshness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for understanding, for wisdom. Thank you for change. Thank you for 2015. It's easier. It's easier. It's easier. It's easier. Thank you, Father. I do not see a venue. I see venue, says the Lord. I do not see one. I see two. I see three. I see four. I do not see one place. I see places, says the Lord. I do not see just one country. I see countries, says the Lord. I've called you not to be the norm. I've, I've called you to be beyond the norm. I have called you not to be like other people. People might say, and people might judge, people will criticize, but I have called you to be what, you, what you're supposed to do. I have called you to be a place where you're supposed to be, says the Lord. I have called you to challenge. I have called you to change, to the pe bring change to the people. I have done that. I have willfully purposed what I'm doing with you. I have done it. I have done it. I have done it. I have willfully done it, says the Lord. Lord, I declare it over my brother. I see the places, the fauna, I see many places. I see, I see many offices. I see many buildings. I see many countries. I see many things that you will be placed in, where you will go. I also see that God's going to send you into churches. He's going to send you in churches. To fix them. Not to pastor them. But God is sending you. He's going to send you into churches. To fix them. I see that for you. From any denomination. God's going to send you to them. To fix them. Concerning of course. The word. The stuff. The truth. How. Whatever. Fixer. You are a fixer of my church. You are the fixer. Of my broken body. You are the fixer of my church. To fix where they have gone wrong. Concerning my word of truth and life. And glorification and immortality. Freedom. Freedom, freedom. I declare in Jesus name. Thank you Lord. I seal that. I speak life to it. In Jesus name. It is done. It is done. Thank you Lord. No worry. Just relax. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Come here, sir. Keep Ali well enough. Yeah, buy a for you. Buy a for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this year. Thank you, Lord, for this year for him, Lord Father, in a great way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see this year for you. It's going to be a real, it's going to all be a peaceful year. There must going to be stuff happening to you this may be happening greater things, but I see the peace that will just surpass all understanding in your life. So you need to see and see the peace of God always upon you. I see there's a lot of things, but you can just have so much peace. I think it's because of the teaching God's vision working with you. Also the reminding that the Holy Spirit of God loves me. But I see that you're going to handle great things and you'll just have peace. One of the biggest things for 2015 I see for you is a lot of peace. A lot of contentment for you in 2015. Very content. You know? So that's actually nice. I'm not saying not going to have trials. I'm not going to say nothing. But in all stuff, you're going to have peace. 
And re remember this word that I gave you. Remember this teaching about tonight. Because I really see it in 2015. People are going to say, but why are you not stressed? No, I don't need to. What do you have? What's your point? That's what I see for you in 2015. Your own mind of things happen, you're like, so? You see. This, that's what that video seemed to happen. So that's pretty cool. So I seal that. I speak life to that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I mean, also see you're going to start sharing the gospel more and more this year with people. The love of God, the gospel, the true gospel, freedom, liberty, the love of God. I'm going to see that for you. Amen. Amen. Hello. Can I give you a bird? Amen. Can I give you a bird? 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 Oh, your heart is so mooi. I give you a bird. I give you a bird. Thank you, Lord. Lord, right now, just touch her, Lord. Free your presence. Freedom, healing, life. Blessing, protection, freedom. Thank you, Lord. Peace, peace, peace. I'll keep it like we've scored. Frustrated. Yo, my hectic. Baie erg. Moe nie waar nie. Jere gaan het uitsoot. Ok. Moe nie, ok. Jy moet te veel aan jouself kyk. Jy kyk na die Jere. Ok. Jy het een groot toekomst. Blessed. Highly favored. Protected. Blessed. Extremely blessed. Amen. Amen. Nou vir jou. Lachies. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this year, for this coming. She'll be free just to be her, herself, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your favor and your grace, your word and your truth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Nie gaan een goeie jaar he. Een lekker jaar. Wil is die wild ding. Ek sien baie geskenke vir jou. Is dit lekker? Ja, mens gaan net soveel goeikies vir jou gee. Ek sien dit vir jou. In ieder geval, welkom het vandaan. Die mens gaan net soveel goeikies gee. Dit is lekker. Hoe is jou beurfd ou? Oh, no, you see, I can't even get it. It's a good PA, I'm going to fall in the lines. But I can see it for a year, 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 I can see it for a year. I want you to bless. Why? Because you're a child of the Most High God. Lekker. Not just from your father, not just from your father, not just from your father. Lekker. Hey, dude, hello. What do you say? Huh? Is jy nie eens bykie wak, kom jy wak, ek klap jy schop. Amen. Kan jy vir enig iets bid, of kan ek net bid? Kan ek net bid? Ok, jy is te harde, ek so mong nie, jy is te harde te vat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I speak life to Him. Freedom to Him. Grace to Him. Peace to Him. Jy is slim. Sê, ek is slim. Ja. Jy is slim. Jy kan jou skoolwerk goed doen, want waarom? Jy is slim. 
Ne, ja, dankie, hy sê nogal dankie, baie polite nogal woord. Ja, jy is slim. Ja, jy jyself sien ek is slim, en alle goed het, jy het maar, jy bid nou al, soos jy geleer het, en jy doen jy al beter. Ja, jy behoud, jy het het bid, en alle goed is, en jy moet sê, ek is slim, want ek het Jesus' brein. En nou gaan jy al hoe beter en beter word, want jy is toch slim. Jesus maak jy dom mense nie, hy maak jy dom kinders nie, weet jy dit? So jy is nie dom nie, geen om wie wat sê nie, of wie ook as nie, jy is slim. Hoekom? Jesus sê so, en Jesus maak jy dom kinders nie. Is dit ok? So, wat sê? Ek is Jy is slim Jy is slim en jy is smart Amen Amen Jy gaan lekker jy alle Jy gaan slaap maar asjeblief Ek sien jy al Waar is met lach op olie Amen Thank you Lord Thanks Eric Al jy hulp Thank you Lord Blessing, favor and grace Thank you, Lord, for change. Thank you, Lord, for blessing, for favor. For freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, Father, 2015, for greater things for Him to happen, Lord. A greater blessing to come. Lord, a greater understanding, greater wisdom. Lord, a greater favor for him in 2015. I declared favor of you. A lot of favor for you in 2015. A lot of favor. A lot of favor. A lot of favor for you, I pray. Favor not because of you, because Christ in you. Favor not because of you, because God loves you. Lord, I declare it over my brother. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for anointing him. Freshness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Lord says, you already know and you already see 2015 is going to be good. Am I right? It says, because you see, because you know, it will be so. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? Yes, uh, that's sweet. Come so. Huh? Yeah, in your face. Yeah. Hello. You eat me as a hair style, bro. Well, you eat me as a hair style, bro. And you're older. It's all right, it's wise-eyed. Amen. Lord, I pray for him, Father, bro, for my brother. For Lord, a greater peace, a greater understanding will come to 2015. Lord, I thank you. I also see a greater rest for you in 2015. A greater rest. A greater rest. A greater rest. A greater rest. As een rust wat gaan kom in 2015 vir jou, al gaan een rust wees in vir jou. Ek weet nie hoe nie, maar het wil kom, een rust en een peace. Het wil kom vir 2000. I pray that peace over all things, it's physically, financially, whatever, I pray that that peace will come. And that peace will just propel you forward. I pray that vir jou, ek sien dat peace, want jou voel, ek vir die gaan jy net voel om te gee. I think I've heard it so come with this a free in a year oh, okay, honey, and that will just increase you. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Fall back. Okay, cool. Bless you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Guys, it's late. Almost one o'clock. I love you, Oaks. Bless you, Oaks. I speak life to you. Drive safely back because you have Holy Spirit so you don't have to worry. Oh, there's snacks afterwards. So you can snack, snack. What do you want? What, what, what do you want? You want to smear and bless. <laughs> William. Amen. But I pray that you will have a good rest. You know, pray when you go back to work, you'll be rejuvenated. Be expectant this year for greater things. 
greater financial, physical, emotional stuff, everything to be just so much better, okay? Because it is. See it and you will have it. Because if you see, you believe. I pray that for you. I speak life to you, to the full, to the overflow. You will not go any through any roadblocks, and if you do, they are blinded. You'll just go right through. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sayonara, bless you, shalom. Bye-bye. See you Sunday, 9 o'clock. Don't forget Sunday, 9 o'clock. Be blessed. Have some cookies.